but to do kind of not a really a review but a practice with a tu Photoshop tutorial that I found on YouTube and the reason I wanted to do this tutorial sorry I had to adjust my mic was because right now we're in the midst of the whole quarantine self-isolation COVID thing and for me Photoshop had been a very intimidating thing so I decided I wanted to give it a try. And so since I can't shoot the way I want to shoot, by shoot I mean photography, not guns, because I know there's a lot of gun activism going on right now. So just to be specific, I decided to play around with some tutorials. But a lot of tutorials require Wacom tablets, which I do not own. And so I found this one through this uh, website called PixiU. And I'm sorry if I brutalized that. But to turn... Um, photographs into oil paintings and I thought that might be a nice way to take old photographs that I'd had and turn them into oil paintings. So that's actually what this video is going to be about this week. Um, I don't mind shooting in color. I actually like shooting in color with some things but I find that I really really like shooting in black and white and so what I did was I took this photo that I took of my um, son. This is, he was, as you can see, he is not that young anymore. He's 19 now so this is him. He's little baby ears. He's little baby face. Um, and it was during a studio lighting workshop that a friend of mine had set up in Washington DC. So I used the Pixie U um, excuse me sinuses tutorial to take it from the image that you're seeing right now on the screen to this image and i really liked how it turned out right it it looks good um his eyes pop more you know his skin is more um defined there's curves it still looks like a photograph but if i were to zoom in and I'm not going to zoom in. If you want to zoom in, go to my website, lrimages.com. I'm going to have a section of the website that's dedicated to me turning these into oil paintings. You'll see it there. But you can see the very detail that makes it look more like an oil painting and less like a photograph. So I really like the, the tutorial. So I, I just, I'm sorry, I'm editing this. So be be kind. Um, Pixie View is the name of the website. This is the tutorial right here on the screen. Photo to oil painting effect without the oil filter. Um, it's set up to do it in case you have a version of Photoshop that doesn't have the oil oil painting filter. Now I do have the oil painting filter in the version of Photoshop that I use. I use Photoshop 2020. However, I didn't like it. It made it look kind of modeled and generic. And what I found was that this was really easy to follow. Um, they did it in six minutes. It actually took me 15. <laughs> I had to, I'm listening and I paused. So I took this picture that I took of a young man named Patrick during another uh, tutorial that I did. Um, and at one point I had recorded me doing the entire thing. But then when I tried to speed it up in Premiere Pro, as you can see, you can see some of the modeling going on in there. So that didn't work out so well. So um, I just look, showed you a little bit of what I was doing. Um, it involves several layers, uh, which is normal when you're using Photoshop. I've heard people get up to 30 to 40 to 50 layers, but you know, you do your adjustments, you change your shadows, you change your highlights, and then from there, you, you go to work. You do high passes, you do noise reductions, you do um, sharpen filters. Um, and then I think the effect that really causes the oil painting thing to set in is the diffuse effect. So this is the before picture, the original straight out of camera shot. This was me after I had done the tutorial. At the end of the tutorial, they have you put a couple of highlights in there. Um, and I chose yellow and purple just because it was handy. But if you look at like his hair, I'm pointing like you can see where I'm pointing. That's a habit I do when I'm working from home too and doing teleconferences. But if you look at like at the lines of his hair and like at his eyes, you can see that it's less photography and more painting. And you can really see it in his goatee, like the hairs of his goatee is very fine, very delicate. This is a photo of my beautiful cousin, uh, Aisha. Hi, sweetie. Um, I took her graduation photos in DC and I wanted to see if it would work as well on a color photo, which it did with Patrick, but this has more things going on in the background. So this was the after. And I will say that I can see it 
I'm not going to do the highlights, but I feel like a simpler background works better with this photograph, or at least I thought it did. It could be that my background was just a little too busy with the DC background because you can see in her face the oil painting part. You can see it in her hair, but not necessarily in the background. So then I took this photo that I took of my youngest. Again, this is an old photo. They are both like teenagers that are taller than me now um, at the barber shop. And yes, he hates the barber shop. And it's a little busier of a background. So I wanted to see if it would work just as well with that. And so I started the process. I threw it into Photoshop. I made the shadow and contrast edits and then this as we're about to see in a minute as I stall because I'm is the after and it is a little more detailed it is more defined you can catch it like in the the groove of the barber's arm you can see it in his <laughs> sorry I'm motioning in the clippers you can see in the clippers and where I had to zoom in which I'm not going to do because I feel like I'm going to mess it up you could have seen it in the lines of his hair again. You can head to my website in a, a week or so and you'll see the paintings there. So that has been this week's video. I think Pixie View has a lot of really good tutorials. I did another one where I took a picture of my friend that I podcast with and I kind of tried to turn it into a cartoon and it was really simple. I wasn't as um, dedicated to getting rid of all of the background, but I got rid of most of the background and changed the background to a solid color and I cartooned her. And um, I think it turned out not bad. I could have done a lot better, but it's just, I would recommend it. It's a really good site. They've got a lot of different tutorials. You can do a lot of different effects. They've got a lot of different setups. So that is this week's video. Um, I do have several more interviews that are in the pipeline that I'm gonna throw up. I just need to get them edited. Uh, it's been busy. I am still working from home during the um, quarantine slash self-isolation period that we're in with COVID-19. So um, that got away with me. But this was something simpler for me to do based on something I did a couple of weeks ago. So thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time. Bye.